Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about output data table. So before going to start this, I will explain you one thing. You may get some doubt like, you know, for each and every read range, we're already storing the data in the data table as an output, right? But why again, we are going to use output data table. The main purpose of the output data table writes a data to a string using CSV format. Let me start with the scenario. If you see on my screen, I'm having student information and then by using read range activity, we are going to store in data table as an output. If I want to convert this data, which we have in the data table in CSV format, how can I go ahead and do that? What is CSV? That is comma separated value. So by using output data table, we can go ahead and we can write the data table into string format, which is in CSV format. Now let me go ahead, let me show you how we can do that. If you see on my screen, I'm already having output data table sequence. And then the student marks.xl file, I'm going to open by using Excel application scope. And then I'm going to read the sheet one by using read range activity. And then the data I'm going to store in the data table that is var data table in the output format. Now, if you see this output is in data table format, I want to convert this data table in CSV format by using output data table. Now, let me go to activities. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for output data table, where we can find that under programming, under data table, you will find output data table. Let's drag and drop onto the panel. Now, first of all, we'll see the properties. We'll have two major properties. That is one is input data table. Another one is output in the text format. Okay, now what is the input data table? That is the output from the read range is the input for output data table. Now, what will do, what is the data table? Where data table, right? Let me select that. Now, once we have gone through the activity output data table, that the output we have to store in the string format. You can see the output of the data table as string. Now, let me set a variable by clicking on Control K. And then what is the output? I can say output data table as string. And then let me click on Enter. Now, if you see the variables, I'm having var data table and the output data table. The variable type is string and the scope is do scope. Now, after doing this output data table, it has been converted into string format, which is in uh, CSV format. Now, to display this output, I'm going to use message box. Let me drag and drop. Now, what is the uh, input for this message box that is the output that what we got it from the output data table that is op data table as string so do we want to convert into the uh, to string no because of already we are having the variable as string so that i don't want to convert again once again the uh, you know variable into string okay now let me go ahead let me save the bot now let me run the bot now if you see this data, whatever the data we have in the sheet one that has been converted into the string with CSV format. I hope you can see one, the first rows coming as the columns and the from there onward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the values from the row related, all the values we can go ahead and we can get it in CSV format. Now I will show you one more example with the range. I want to, if you see, I am having from A1 to uh, F6. A1 to F6, I want to give the range. How can I go ahead and do that? In, in read range, I will give it A1 to F6. And then let me save the bot. Now let me run the bot. Now you can see the data over here. The columns, F6 is nothing but the last one is Telugu. And the row is sixth row, that is, Neha, that you can see in all this data as specified in the rate range. Now, I hope you understand what is the difference for the, you know, read range output data table and the output data table activity in this session. 
Thank you for watching UiPath tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.